this is getting the getting stronger vlog um new at this don't know really what i'm doing really just doing this for myself if anybody stumbles across these videos and it helps one person decide to get stronger then awesome if not it's really for me um but in that vein just to let you know what's going on i used to power lift uh Five years ago, I started working out again, you know, typical guy athlete, worked out in school, worked out a little bit out of school, then life gets a hold of you, you do nothing. Next thing you know, you're way overweight, out of shape, and you're out of breath, walking through the parking lot. Not a good deal. So I decided to start working out and losing weight. This was five years ago. Did a really good job for three years. Some, sometime during COVID, got lazy. Just plain and simple. No, no craziness happened, but I just got lazy. And basically took a year and a half off of working out. Um, worked out a little bit sporadically, maintained a little bit of strength. So eight weeks ago, nine weeks ago now, decided to get back on the train. Did kind of a modified three by five uh, linear progression to work up to do a mock meet. Did a mock meet last week, last Saturday actually. Today is Saturday as of this recording. And uh, hit some decent numbers for me. Hit some numbers that I thought I was going to hit. Hit some numbers that I didn't think I was going to hit. So overall, very pleased with the process. Um, but in that vein, I decided to compete again, to power lift again. Uh, and really the competitions are not really to win anything. It's more to challenge myself. It's that carrot at the end of the stick. It's to pretend that I'm an athlete again. Um, and in some veins you are when you, when you commit to something like this. And uh, so what I did was I reached out and signed up for the Strength Athletes uh, custom training cycles. And so this is the end of the first week of that process. Um, in this video, I will also show some of my lifts. I won't show all the lifts because quite frankly, some of them are just boring. And really, um, I'm looking at lifts that I need to improve on to help my total. So that's really what I'll go through and walk through on the voiceover during the lifts. Um, baseline body weight coming into this week was 420. I weighed in today uh, Some around 417, 416. Um, so definitely showing some progress in losing that weight and hopefully, uh, you know, get some body recomp going as well. Although I have a lot of fat on me, so it'll be a long time before I really see those, those uh, dividends pay off. I am committing to this custom training cycle um, for a year, essentially. Uh, whenever Virginia will have their USA Powerlifting State Championships, which is typically sometime mid to late May. Um, that is what I'm committing to. And if I see progress and if I enjoy it, I'll stay on the train. Um, and, and I'll update these videos um, on my thought process on how I feel um, it's going um, and, and, and what are some positives. This first training cycle, um, the coach, uh, Hanny, he, he doesn't really know me. I don't really know him. So I can't really judge the effectiveness of this first cycle. But, you know, January, February, we should both know each other and be able to uh, communicate on uh, what I need and what he feels like I need and, and, and come to a ground where I can make some progress. And really, it's just about getting stronger and better than I was the day before. So the end goal is there is no end goal. Uh, this is an attempt to change my lifestyle back to what it was a year and a half ago for three straight years, uh, getting up early in the morning. I train early in the morning. If I don't get up early and train, it just won't happen. I'm just not that disciplined to do it. I'm disciplined enough to get up early and do it but not to come home from work and do it so i hope anybody who watches these videos enjoys the content 
and uh, we'll get into what the workout looks like um, in the next part of this video. Okay, so right here, um, this is the first day after the meet, and I'm just doing some safety squat bar squats. Um, nothing too special. Uh, looks like we're doing these at 190 pounds. Um, just really sore this day, just trying to get my body moving. I'm doing more of a narrow stance than I do on my squats just to hit uh, more quad um, focused on that. Going into here, these are going to be two count balls, pause bench press, um, 180 pounds. I rated this staying at an RPE 5.5 on the easier side, but once again, I was really beat up after the mock meet and just wanted to Take it kind of easy, and I believe this is what was actually prescribed to me. I know some of these pauses probably weren't as long as they needed to be. This is day two, uh, straight up sumo deadlift. I am not that good at this form, and uh, Hani's just programmed these at a lower weight. It looks like throughout this cycle and that's more for me to work on my form um, and I think as I drop some weight um, I'll definitely be able to get in a position better uh, this is just straight bench press um, kind of like how they do things or at least what it looks like so far uh, you get a little heavy bench in the beginning or relative uh, just for a single, just to see how you're looking for the day, and then you back down and uh, knock out some volume work. Um, and so this is the first day where I wanted to show a little bit more than just the first top set. Uh, this is actually a back down work on that. Moves really good. Um, probably can hold the bar on my chest just a tad bit longer. Um, just to simulate that competition bench. All right, so day three, I believe I show all of my working sets on here, and I'm really trying to get the bar lower on my back. That was one of the things that Hani uh, asked me to work on if I could, just because um, I lean kind of forward in my squat and a couple times I will lose balance like even there I can tell how the bar is moving forward and if I can one prevent that a little bit and to get the bar down on my back I can actually get a lot of a lot more power going in I mean this is just 225 two sets of five and really you know, still a little beat up for the mock meet, but also it was probably harder than it needed to be just because I was working on trying to get that bar lower and really find that spot on my back where it can just hang out. So that's going to be a work in progress as well. As you can tell, I'm just trying to set up little bit and uh, some of these you'll be able to see the clock and maybe the times won't line up in your brain I pretty much superset as much as I can so here I'm also supersetting in um, the benching movement that you're gonna see after this um, and no I'm not wearing the, the same clothes every day I am I just bought a bunch of gray t-shirts and black shorts just to make my life simpler when I wake up at four o'clock in the morning to work out 
So these are feet up bench press, um, as you can tell. Uh, I've never really done these before, and I'm, uh, you know, it really focuses on your other muscles and really takes away that leg drive. And I would imagine that's why they have been programmed. So I'm on what they call a custom training cycle. So I have a coach, but I'm not really in contact. He does my programming. We've had we had a meeting um, via Google Hangouts and uh, just kind of explained everything that we're going through. And and um, so there's not a weekly interaction is what they're boils down to. You know, I can reach out to them if I want to, but pretty much it's it's not that much. Uh, these are going to be pause deadlifts on day three. I mean, day four, excuse me. And it's uh, it's about two inches off the ground. And this is where the bulk of my sumo training is going to come into. Um, that's where I'm really going to push a weight is what it looks like. I mean, I'm already um, I'm already at 315 right there where earlier he had me sumo and at 240 it looks like this is where I'm really going to gain that strength in but back what I was saying with a custom training cycle basically give you 10 to 12 weeks for a uh, for a training period you know you get a little uh, a little meet and greet type of deal and then they let you loose. So it's definitely for the go-getter, somebody who's got a little bit of experience, and it's a, it's a cheap cheap option, relatively cheap, um, instead of paying somebody to basically program you every single week. Uh, still quality training, and for what I need, it's perfect. I more need the accountability, but it's also good to have a really good trained professional with a, a set of eyes on your stuff. Um, these back down sets moved really well. Um, the 315 felt a little stiff. Um, you know, this was a Saturday morning coming out of a week after the meet. And uh, I feel pretty good from there. And I'm looking forward to getting after it. And this is the breakdown of of the training for this week. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.